Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, beautiful day. It's uh, Thursday, I suppose, February 8, 2023. What you're looking at right now is uh, they called it Masjid Adawa, which is the big masjid used by the Muslim community here in this part of Cavite. Uh, we are in Sarial subdivision, I think, in Imus. It's a, it's a city here in Cavite uh, with a burgeoning um, population and density of Muslims from originally from Mindanao who migrated and uh, are working in the market area. So as you can see, this is uh, we're going to be uh, getting more information when this building was built and the vision that the uh, now his name is Abdul Latif Sultan. He stands as the leader of the Filipino Muslim community in the market. And we're going to be asking him some questions about his vision and the vision of the community for this uh, for this building. As you can see, it only looks like a normal uh, residential building. And they do have this uh, desire to make it look like a real uh, masjid, to have that identity of a Muslim uh, structure, uh, formal Muslim uh, masjid because uh, as you can see the windows looks like it's a normal apartment and normal residential building so as you go and walk along uh, you can see of, of course there has to be grills on the window uh, for security reasons uh, <laughs> I feel sad this is supposed to be the shoe rack uh, where they're supposed of course to put their sleepers on but uh, as you can see it's a little dilapidated and it has to I think it has to change um, uh, like a formal structure. This is the first or the ground level of the masjid. Um, we're going to go in. It's just uh, like a box. Uh, no lights in some of the fixtures. Uh, very small lights. These are just tube lights. I'm sure it has to change. Um, this is supposed to be screened uh, windows. Uh, the screens needs repair. Small small fans. They they do need ceiling fans uh, to be installed here in this provision. But for the meantime, as you can see, those are only small tube lights. They usually use this masjid on Fridays because uh, uh, the community has a smaller masjid that I'm going to be showing you on, on a separate video. It's a fan. Uh, these are these are supposed to be bleachers, but made out of uh, DIY DIY wood. This door at the back, steel door, but needs repair. As you can see, it doesn't really fit. I mean, there there, there has to be a more I don't know how I can say it uh, a facility manager or something like that who will sort of like guide them to have a more organized structure. As you can see, there are many provisions for lights that are not fixed. Uh, also that one. The door to the ground floor is also dilapidated. It's uh, just made out of uh, repurposed uh, wood. A lot of them needs repair. This is the main entrance. You can see Mr. Abdullah Sultan over there are going up the stairs to the uh, first floor. This needs uh, this needs provision. Although they have this shutter shutter door for safety, and this is a steel gate that has a lock. This is the stairs that uh, Abu Faisal helped um, uh, construct the grills. That's Mr. Abdul. The Latif over there, as you walk up, there's another stair going up to the rooftop. I think this is a provision when they have, especially during Eid, where they have a lot of uh, worshippers coming into the facility. Uh, these are supposed to be bleachers. Assalamu alaikum, brother. This is Abdul Latif Sultan. He is originally from Mindanao. He now leads the Filipino community who are engaged in the trading. Most of them are engaged in the trading in the market. Uh, this is... Uh, Kailan mo sinimulan to, Brad? Uh, ano to? Na, uh, almost 
Eight years. Eight years, almost eight years. Eight years. Yeah. Up to now. MashaAllah. So this has been constructed eight years. I'm going to write a long panapa. My panuchatas na bisan na pero ang nakalagay na mga pusti. Okay. So he's telling us that the vision, the original vision of the mosque, is to have three levels. However, up until now. The only construction that has been laid are the foundations for the third floor, and that actually is the stairs that leads to uh, the rooftop. Uh -huh. Yeah. Almost 4,000. So he's saying that during Ramadan on Tarawi prayers, they are um, they are accommodating up to about 300, 400 people, worshippers. And during Eid, probably Eid al-Adha and Eid al-Fatr, he, he says that uh, they can reach up to 4,000 and they occupy the, the streets outside. So, yeah, some of this ceiling fans are no longer working, Tama. Uh -oh. It needs replacement, um, especially the ones there. And, and they have this vision of reshaping all these windows, changing it so that it would reflect a more formal uh, masjid identity, even for people outside. I mean, when you see it, you will recognize the, uh, that that's a masjid. Because as I showed you earlier, it looks like a residential building from the outside. So that's their vision and their wish that they'll be able to, to have all these uh, windows reshaped and reformatted to, to reflect that uh, strong Muslim identity, that this is a masjid, a, a place of worship for, uh, for our Muslim brothers and sisters. This is, a, this is a sad electric fan here that needs to be uh, changed. Uh, okay. So, uh -oh. so he Okay. Like a Juma, 
Sir Juma. Oh, anyway, uh, uh, wait. He's telling us a story about how this how this structure was was built uh, from the help of uh, some of the donors that generously uh, have given their financial support and also other people. That they they're the ones who made it actually. Uh, the, the Muslim brothers in the, in the market, uh, the community that he leads, help each other to have this structure uh, built from the financial support of some of the donors that we're, we were able to uh, to uh, to ask for help. And he's telling us that basically this is being used uh, by the majority during Friday for Juma prayer because they have a smaller masjid near near the market. But uh, some of our Muslim brothers who live uh, and sisters who, who live nearby this area uses this on a daily basis. Uh, he was telling us that before this roof uh, has been uh, made into concrete or cemented, uh, there used to be uh, they, they used to have problems because of the rain when it's going down and stuff like that. So anyway, we're going to be bukas bintas. So we're going to be showing you the rooftop, how it looks like now, and what uh, what we. Uh, what the the community here needs in order uh, to have a proper structure. So we're going to be going up there. We're going up in the rooftop. Okay. So as you can see, there's still a lot of work to be done, and there's still uh, a big fund needed to have this completed. The brothers and sisters here in the community are helping each other to do the construction, but of course, uh, the community is, as I said earlier, are merchants in the uh, public market, so they're just putting their funds together. So this, I think this is supposed to be, what, a dome? Mm, dome, yeah. Wow, okay, the vision is to have this, on top of this, a dome that, as I said earlier, they're struggling to have that strong Muslim identity to the building. So, inshallah, 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 with your help, they'll be able to accomplish that vision. And uh, with your generosity and financial support, wherever, whichever part of the world you are. So, this is also being occupied during Eid, Eid prayers by worshippers. Uh, as you can see, there's... A, there's a little curve over there where it's supposed to be. Ito yung pinaka ano na sa, sa ano no? Sa imam. Sa imam. Yeah, exactly. So there are provisions for adding uh, more beams for the final roof over here. Uh, but this is just uh, plain concrete as you can see. They need wall, uh, formal wall and this this structure where we had uh, gone up. Uh, this is a staircase area. Needs uh, finishing. So inshallah, 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 with your support and with your help, the Filipino community here in in, in Imus, being led by Mr. Abdullah Sultan, sa kabagaling, Maranao? Marawi City. He's originally from Marawi City. So uh, a lot of them ha have migrated to this part of Luzon and as I said earlier, been involved in business in the market and there, mashallah, uh, much of this structure has been built with their daily contribution. I mean, I think they're put, di ba araw-araw parang nag-aano kayo? Nagbibigay kayo ng fund? Parang cooperative, gano'n? Parang yun na lang po yung pangbayad ng Maintenance. Maintenance, electricity, they, they do need a uh, fund for the electric electricity because unlike Saudi Arabia the electricity charge here is uh, uh, is huge so inshallah you'll be a part of the effort of the uh, Filipino Muslim community here in Cavite and inshallah uh, you can spare some of your uh, resources to have this uh, to have this accomplished and have this vision uh, fulfilled inshallah 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 and we hope that the, the Muslim community here in Muscovite will continue to grow. Uh, Did you have a school here? Madrasa. That's the name of the mosque. Until now? Yes, it's still in the middle of the mosque because it's still in the middle of the mosque. Ah, okay. It's still in the middle of the mosque. They used to have a uh, madrasa session here at the ground floor where they used to teach kids how to read the Quran 
uh, but now they have moved it to a smaller masjid near the marketplace because of the distance uh, most of them are are there in the marketplace on a daily basis anyway so yung yung madrasa okay naman meron ka ring mga kailangan resources sa madrasa wala naman ano na bisa madrasa talaga kaya ni namin inalis dito yung bubuan wala ko pang bibili talaga sa oh, okay ayun yung pangalawang problema yung mga bata nalalayuan sila kasi exactly. nilagay sa taas sa maliit na mundo so okay naman sila doon okay naman sila gawa na, na kahit na nakaano sila doon pangalawa malapit sa mga magulang na mga monitor hmm. mga magulang yun ang ginawa ko hmm. tapos ang Pustad namin dati doon, nung nag-start ako, dalawang babae, oh. dalawang lalaki. Okay. Ngayon, ang ginawa namin, gawa na yung mga magulang na mga bata, hindi minsan, hindi perfect, gawa na nung dumating yung pandemic, oh. eh, medyo na-reduce yung mga student. Attendees, oh. Ang ginawa namin, dadalawa na lang ang lalaki ang nagtuturo. Ah, Ngayon, okay. Si Ma Pustad Musa, at saka si Hafiz Adnan. Hmm. yun ang gumagawa si Happy Chad na yun naman itapos yan ng Pakistan oh, okay. tapos yan nakatapos na Happy Soul Quran saka Hadith tapos si Ustad Musa dito naman nag-aral sa atin sa Sambuaga oh, okay. yun ay tapos din ang Inshallah okay. Okay. pero meron lang ako isang comment Brad okay. uh, meron kasing mga nakakabasa ng Arabic nakakabasa ng Quran pero ang uh, pa, pa, opinion ko lang to no? okay. ang pinakamahalaga is yung understanding ng meaning ng ng Quran in Tagalog or in Marawi o kung ano man lingwahe nila para nauunawaan nila yung ano ba yung binabasa nila kasi parang nakita ko yun yung weakness ng ibang mga Muslim community like in Bangladesh, Pakistan, India okay nakakabasa siya ng Arabic nakakabasa siya, nakakapag-recite siya ng, ng, uh, ng aya pero pag tinanong mo kung anong kahulugan Hindi Bagsak. Hindi niya ma-define. Hindi niya kasi naintindihan. So, ang wish ko na sana kasabay nung pag-memorization ng mga aya sa Quran, ng hadith, nandun din yung pagkaunawa kung ano yung konteksto nung ibig sabihin nung, nung tinuturo sa kanila. No? Dahil maraming, okay, nakakapag-recite. Sabi nila, oh, itong batang ito, 10 years old, who is able to recite the Quran in memory. But if you ask the meaning, kung anong kahulugan, doon ang bagsak. So, pa, ang, ang sa akin, mas magiging malalim yung understanding natin sa relihiyon sa pananampalataya natin, kung nauunawaan nila kung ano yung ibig sabihin sa lingwahe na naintindihan nila. ba? Diba? Kung, mara, kung maranaw sila, siyempre ina-explain yan sa maranaw language. ba? Diba? Ganon. So, yun lang yung... <laughs> <laughs> Coming on, that's what I hope to see in the community, you know. Strong, strong, because I think stronger Muslims uh, start from a strong foundation. And that strong foundation is not just knowing the, how to recite the Quran in its original Arabic language, but understanding the context and the meaning of what they are memorizing. But anyway, so... Abdul Latif, so inshallah, 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 we will be able to um, have some... Uh, donors from Saudi Arabia from people I know and uh, I hope that the people I know will will also share it to people they know who might be um, in a position to to help this community in, in in this endeavor of building this masjid a proper masjid for for worshiping on a daily basis on a weekly basis especially during Eid so that they could have all the the facilities that they need uh for practicing their faith inshallah 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 right okay inshallah okay thank pwede magsalita sure sure ako po ay nananawagan sa mga kapatid natin in a country or Saudi Arabia or Kuwait or Iraq or any Muslim country sana po tulungan niyo po yung aming Muslim ito po si Muslim ito po ay Gusto namin matapos at mapakinabangan na almost 2,000 na Muslim dito sa Imus, more than that. At saka yung madrasa namin, sana po tuloy-tuloy na para po tayo para may matulong sa mga kata. Ito po ang muna namin nagigamit namin araw-araw sa pagkakasal. Naway na na tumulong dito si Masala ng Allah na humabang kanilang buhay, madagdagan na kanilang kaimanan at hindi 
sila na kanilang mga bapak pamilya, hindi sila sa anuman bagay, nakapangangat dito sa mundo, at sa kapila buhay ay magiging masaga na ang kanilang paraiso. At uh, makakasya po na lahat na tutulong dito ay mapupunta sa uh, masjid natin at kung po kayo mag-alala, ito po ay gagawin namin para po siya kabubuti namin dito sa Imus Muslim Community. At uh, nagpapasalamat ako kay Brother Yusuf at uh, walang sawa pagtulong. Ito po ay tinulungan niya noon na talagang gumanda na wala yung tulong ng masjid. So wala siya talagang tuloy-tuloy yung tulong dito. Nagawa yung hagdana namin dahil sa kanya yung amba nagawa rin. Marami siya na itulong doon sa pintana sa ating garingan. No, not, <laughs> not from me. I was just <laughs> couldn't do it. Gabayan siya na lang na strong at uh, healthy. At uh, nagpapasalamat mo ako muli. Si Brother Yusuf, maraming maraming salamat. At nabiligyan mo kami na oras na mga tingin na tulong sa mga kapatid natin. Inshallah. Country or especially ang iyong mga friends. Uh, Inshallah. Uh, Alaikum wa But anyway, I'll just I'll just interpret a little bit of what you have said. I mean, in other words, he is just asking and uh, asking for your generous help in order for them to complete this this facility and this structure. And he's grateful that we we, we were able to enjoy the generosity of uh, people like uh, Abu Faisal who have helped us construct this uh, this structure that we're standing on right now the the, the rooftop and also the stair the stairs uh, the uh, railings some of the, the, the windows and even before we some of the doors so but now we, we would really uh, appreciate more help and more uh, support from you and we he just said the dua that uh, may Allah protect and uh, continue to bless those people who will be generous to help inshallah 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 so thank you so much for uh, spending the last 20, 22 minutes with us. And I hope that you'll be able to, to find a place in your heart to, to help this masjid and the Filipino community here in Imus Kabita. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.